As producers, we've all been in that situation where you have a really good idea, but you're not really sure what to do with it or what steps you need to take to turn into a full song. And that sucks because it kind of feels like wasted potential, right? So to help you, I've compiled a list of the three ways that I've turned my loops into full songs. And hopefully they help you and you can create your next hit. So let's get started. The first thing you can use to turn your loops into actual songs is to know song structure and how to implement that into your loop. Using song structure allows you to know where your idea fits within the song and how to kind of build upon it. So let's say you have a four bar loop. You have to ask yourself, does this loop work best as like the drop or maybe the verse? And then you can decide which one it's best for. And then once you know that, you can build upon it. Many songs use the same song structure, so don't be afraid of referencing other tracks. And that's actually what we're gonna do today. So I have this little four bar loop, this beat, and we're gonna turn it into a full beat. The song that we're gonna be referencing today is Meek Mill and Drake's Going Bad. I love the song, I think the beat is so sick. So a little cheat code that you can use if you don't know song structure is to use the lyrics of the song. It tells you where the intro, verse, chorus, all that is. We're just gonna find where these lyrics start and create a locator with an Ableton. Wait, this is how you add a locator in Ableton. You go to this top section right here and you right click, add locator, and then you can name it whatever you like. We now have the basic template of the beat. So now we just get our idea, fit it within this template, and then build upon that. So I have this little section right here. I already know this is gonna be the verse. Verse, I think this verse is a little too long, so we're gonna go ahead and shorten this. We'll bring this in. Intro, it's basically just the instruments with no drums. Same thing with the post chorus we'll put that in there like this bring this down to just eight it's okay to mess around with it again this is music do whatever you want and if you want to change things up it's all right we found a reference track we use that put it into our own beat and now we have a full song now granted this would be the most boring song ever because it repeats it repeats the same thing for almost a minute and a half but we have the basic structure of the song down now don't be afraid to experiment and break rules. If you want to start your song off with the chorus, go ahead. There's plenty of songs that do that. But just remember that the song structure is bringing the listener on a journey. Just do what you want. And if it sounds good, it sounds good. Second tip is to add, take, or change something within the song. If you're trying to make a song and it's just boring to listen to because for three minutes, it's basically just playing the same thing over and over again. That gets boring. Don't do that. Even if you can take something out a little bit, and bring it back in, that's a lot more entertaining than playing the same thing for three minutes. So yeah, taking out a kick or taking out the bass, adding in hi-hats, changing the chords up a little bit. It can do so much for your song, especially if you're doing it every four to eight bars, because it's just something new and interesting for the listener and you want to keep them engaged. Right here, I changed up the song structure a little bit. We're going to, again, add variation. So these violin sounds, I want them for the chorus. hats we'll bring that in after eight bars we're gonna take the kick out i also want like a wind down i think it's a little too high so i'm gonna bring a filter on it we'll bring the bass out this part right here and it'll come in. And then we'll take it out again. Yeah, just changing it up a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate this exact thing on this side. All right, that's basically it. You know, we added variations every four bars, basically at the end. Um, so now what we can do is just copy and paste it. Because this beat is pretty simple. And again, when we're making beats, we're not going crazy. We're going simple so we can let the artist really shine on it. Adding variation within your track can allow you to build upon your ideas. Like right now, I added in another melody that I wouldn't have added in before. Again, tip two, add, take, or change. The point of this is to make your song or your beat 
just more interesting to listen to rather than repeating the same thing for three minutes. The third tip you can use to transform your loops into full songs is to change the instruments. So right here in the post chorus, I already changed it. Um, we got rid of the ARP and I added in this little piano. Third tip, switch up your sounds. When you change your sounds, the idea is to create something familiar but different. So in our example, we changed up the ARP and added in a piano. Um, some other examples, in the verse, maybe your song is being played on the piano. In the chorus, maybe try to switch it up and play it on the guitar. Just, again, switching things up and making people interested. Keeping people engaged. Hopefully, I helped you a bit today. And now you know some of the tips that I use that you can use to turn your loops into full songs. Thank you for watching. If you like the video and you like my content, make sure to hit subscribe. If there's something that you want me to talk about, make sure to leave a comment. I will try it out. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new today. And don't forget, the point of music is to have fun. So try to have fun and try to make some dope shit. Good luck.